everyone, it's Kyle and Ronnie here back with you. Uh, today we're going to be kind of wrapping up our series on the business owner. Uh, by now you should have seen the other the other FSG TV videos or the other key points that a business owner has to focus on with financial planning. And those are, are utilizing your, your business to maximize a reduction of federal tax income. Uh, how do you protect yourself from another downturn of 2000, like 2008? And how do you uh, keep up with the, uh, the changing laws of legislation tax? That kind of goes back to the federal income tax piece, as well as you know, how, do you, how do you effectively offer a retirement plan for your employees and what makes sense for you and your business? So one of the big things with, with business owners that I find, Ronnie, is, is really the coordination of benefits and, and the fact that you know, these are very time-consuming activities. So with FSG, Ronnie, how do we, how do we help business owners with, with the federal tax issue? Yeah, so I, I think there's really two pieces there, Kyle. I think the, the first is uh, where FSG, I think, is unique than other uh, financial planning firms is you know, a business owner, and, and part of the reason why we're doing a, a full series uh, for the business owner is a business owner is very unique in a lot of ways. They, they, they have to deal with a lot of challenges um, that, that, unfortunately, in order to find professionals and information and education out there on all those different areas, um, you know, the, the, they have to go out and find different professionals to provide that. And the issue that I found is, uh, in my conversations with my business owner clients, is, is you know, the coordination. It's, it's the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is well, doing. Well, it takes time out of their business. Absolutely. Too, right? As Absolutely. a business owner, we want to focus on keeping you in your business and, and really taking away that time spent doing other activities that ge doesn't generate that income for you. Absolutely. Right. I mean, you know, and, and, and we understand here probably more so than most, you know, time, time is money, right? And at the end of the day, if we can add to the bottom line for the business owner, ultimately, we want to become that consultant. We want to become that person that can do two things in that scenario. The first is educate them on all those areas because we've, we've, we've pushed ourselves here to identify the areas that a business owner is dealing with. And even though we might not be able to hand, handle that or help them with that directly, we've aligned ourselves with professionals that, sure. like us, educate, consult our clients uh, in, in that regard. And, and I think the second piece, and, and frankly, my perspective uh, that is is the most important is is tax efficiencies. Um, you know, I think uh, you know the perspective I'm getting from business owners. I think we're talking yep. to is, you know, proactivity from their accountant or CPA, right? That that you know, in their mind, it's I show up, you know, a week or two before April 15th. Um, I hand them a box of all my stuff, uh, and then you know, a couple weeks later, I get you know a nice clean document back to sign. And and the question becomes, is that enough? Is sure. the return or how much I'm paying uh, the right answer? And, and I think that's the struggle that most people have, and I think that comes with uh, a lack of understanding sure. of, of what's sure. available there. So to kind of take it in, uh, <clears throat> the next step further and, and really focus on the next point, you know, a lot of business owners, much like us in, in our situations here, you know, we've gone through that 2008. You know, how do, how do we and how does FSG put our business owners in the best position possible to survive those ups and downs you know, of the economy. Absolutely. Well, and I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, the importance of planning, the importance of, um, you know, semi-annual, annual reviews where, again, we as the consultant are proactively approaching our clients on a regular basis to sitting down and having those conversations. Well, and from the aspect of a business owner, it's hard chasing them down Absolutely. Sometimes. Absolutely. So, you know, that, that accountability factor there Absolutely. Is, is huge and, you know, at the end of the day, we're on your team. Absolutely. So, um, that's a big aspect and, and making sure we're putting the right things in place. Yeah, and, and, and I think a lot of it is, is you know, when, when you look at, you know, 2008, um, you know, and we remember those times very well and, and dealing with, you know, business owners and all the issues of real estate, right? I mean, let's call it what it is. Real estate is what drove that economic decline. Subprime mortgages, you know, real estate was really kind of a marquee issue uh, that kind of created a lot of the turmoil yep. in 2008. And so when you look at a business owner and you look at commercial real estate and uh, properties and, and all these things that are part of the business, um, you, you can easily identify why a business owner was, was you know, most hurt by that decline. And then, of course, it's important to realize now, as the market is cyclical and we have those bad times, and then typically after bad times, we have those times. good times, right, is is we're in a situation where, um, you know, it's easy to feel good and get lackadaisical when times are good, right? Sure. And, and part of that accountability, sure. I think, right, is is making sure that even when the times are good, you have somebody
somebody there helping you plan for those issues course, that they arise again. You know, another aspect too with small business owners is really the retention of employees. We get a lot of business owners who come to us and they say, you know, the turnover is really bad. What are some things that I can do to help keep those good employees and keep people on staff that, that are good employees? And the biggest question that really is, um, you know, how do you offer a retirement plan at work? As a small Absolutely. business owner of maybe anywhere from 10 to 75 employees, what makes the most sense for you? Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's, I mean, I think part of it is looking at a couple of areas, right? The first is, you know, the cost associated, right? And I think a lot of that is covered under the education, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's that commitment we've yep. made to educating, to saying, we're not here to tell you what to do, right? We're here to just say, here's what your competitors, here's what companies that are doing it right are doing in a benefits package to retain that talent, right? With flexibility, Absolutely. right? Because as we just talked about, you know, there will be times where the economy fluctuates. There's going to be those times where it gets tight. Absolutely. So um, all those things are taken into consideration. So, you know, throughout this docu-series and throughout FSGTV dealing with a business owner, you know, there's been a lot of topics and a lot of things that we brought up. And as a business owner, it's really tough to keep, a, you know, your finger on the pulse with those, right? Absolutely. So kind of in, in, in wrapping everything up, you know, when it comes down to it and why it makes sense to work with a financial planner, work with a financial planning firm, work with a team, why as a business owner should you should you approach and engage somebody in that relationship? Yeah, and I think that's a, that's that's the ultimate question, right? I, I I think I go back to how we started this conversation, which is, you know, we have clearly created a unique approach. You're typically not going to find uh, the answers at a financial planner's office in total or a accountant's office in total. It's coordinating that, and I think what we've done is we've pushed ourselves to become educated in all of those areas. Uh, certainly, we're not going to handle those directly, but educated in all those areas so that for our business owner clients, um, we can become that consultant. We can become that quarterback, right? That analogy that we yep. use uh, for our clients in quarterbacking those relationships and making sure that wheel of professionals is communicating so you know you've got that team behind you doing well, what's and, best. Well, you know, to, to kind of add on to that a little bit, it really comes down to knowing you and your business. Knowing what, what the ins and outs of your day-to-day -day look like, what's important to you, what do we need to handle, what is the order of operations to get these things done for you. Because at the end of the day, we want you out there handling your business. We want you working and doing what's productive for you to generate that income. Absolutely. That's what's important. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I, I'm not sure that, that every financial planning office handles it like we do. I, I sure hope would that they would. Um, but, you know, as a business owner, there are a lot of unique challenges. Um, and I think we've done a pretty good job to overcome most of those. Absolutely. Not master them. Yeah. And like I said, I, I think, you know, if I, could, if I could point to one thing, it's, you know, we understand clearly for a business owner, Taxes is what what makes the world go round, right? I mean, yep. at the end of the day, it, you know, every conversation I've ever had with a business owner, the foundation of that comes into what is the clear advantage of owning a business, right? And from my perspective, and I know from yours, it's you have really good planning mechanisms and ways you can utilize that business to be tax efficient. And and my perspective is most business owners struggle uh, with the right people in the world helping them helping them do that. I agree. I agree. And we've seen instances. Of that. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of education that comes along with this. There's a lot of concepts. There's no one way to do it all. So uh, feel free to go back and check out our articles on our website and check out the prior videos in this docu-series and we'll look forward to seeing you guys soon. Absolutely. Absolutely.